heading out onto the pier for buses at the pier today. So I figured we would film going out there. I'm actually on the pier this time. Uh, last time I was on the plaza and uh, it was cool, um, but the pier was kind of neat, really neat. So if you can see over there, they're loading them up on there. Let's see if you can get that in. You can see the buses driving out on the pier. So it's pretty cool to watch. It's something you just don't see. <laughs> and here comes Eddie in his ambulance. And the ambulance is here. Got all these cars lined up. These are all lined up to go in the plaza. So they load the pier first. And uh, we're going to go all the way out. Looks like we'll be at the end over the water. That's the whole goal, right? You come in late, get over the water. Well, the guys come in early and they're over the sand. So it'll be kind of neat. I'll have a gathering out at the bus. So let's uh, ride out there. Once we get out a little bit further, I'll bring you back in. So we're driving right through the area here where everybody gathers. This is all, this is the plaza. We're going out to the pier. So. Right, the bus is one, I wanted to do a show in this bus for sure. I, I, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to. And uh, but what a great show to do. I'm gonna do one, might as well do the uh, buses on the pier and have this thing out for the first time in the, sh in the show on the pier, so it's kind of neat to drive out here. Saw so, uh, Shin from Hot VW's magazine. He's filming somewhere else. I don't know where he's at, but I want to watch his channel to see what he's got on there as well for the same event. Uh, so Hot VW's YouTube. You check that out and you'll see Shin's other, the other version of it, <laughs> it's always different over there than it is over where I'm at. There's always different views, different stuff going on. So if you want to see more of this show, you can go check out their channel. Kind of a unique experience, I'll tell you. I don't think I've ever driven out on a pier before. Maybe I can back east or something. Oh, there he is. There's Shin right there. There's Shin taking, taking pictures. And that is the Fast Times at Ridgemont High bus, usually right at the front. So we got all the buses. They've gone all the way to the end of the pier and turned around and now they're coming back. Dougie, Rad TV right there. So that's another view. So we're rolling along here out on the pier.
guys are spinning around going the wrong way they they went around a second time because they wanted to be further out on the water <laughs> that was sneaky okay all right this is interesting guys going around the thing here First debut of this bus here and looks like we got a good spot I don't know if we're gonna be right here but there's buses all the way down so yeah they're still parking everybody so it looks like we're gonna move up a little we might be but we're gonna be right near the uh, store here it's a gift shop and the restrooms which is always nice that means a lot of people are going to be walking by, so it's going to be cool, um, but I'm not going to be down there filming stuff, so I'll bring you guys back in a little bit later once we get parked. But we got out here, we got the barn door, a couple of barn doors out the end, and a uh, nice looking panel right here. A lot of stuff to see. You guys come back a little bit later. We'll, once I get out here and film this, we'll check it out. The show gets really busy, so I'm going to try and film a little bit of this while we're... Just while I'm uh, walking up here. So yeah, before it gets too busy, we'll just do a quick walk around and then I'll show you guys some more of the stuff here later before all the music all turns on and all that stuff. We'll maybe get some close-up action a little bit later. But right now, i just got to walk up to the front. So I figured it'd be a good time to show you guys what's up. Maybe let me put it on super steady for you.
I'm glad you're for this. This is I did video that whole year. You going out? You got out. How was it? Alright, so you guys know this is a Postal Yellow single cab. Really rare to see this color. Uh, if you ever start stripping down, you see that original yellow paint, just be very careful. Try to keep it original because it's so unique to see one. So this one here, we got so many nice, they got them a little bit spaced out a little bit better than last time, I think. So it's going to be a great event. So we got this. Huh. A lot of bay windows here too. Bay window. This is really nice there. It's a much calmer. So. Buff it up a little bit. The pier gets really busy a little bit later. So. Got this here. A little bit of this stuff before it gets too busy. Before all the music hits, it's, it's gonna kind of work around it right now, guys. If I hear music, I'm just gonna move somewhere. So if you want to get your bus filmed, turn the music off. Yeah, this is a unique thing. This is one of those uh, water pumps. Just a water pump, VW powered. That's it. Kind of cool. Made in Western Germany. You young folks. I don't know, there was an east and a west. So we got a couple of these barn doors here. I think there's two this color. I don't know what color that is, but I think this is a barn door. So if you look at the front, it doesn't have the overhang, and I always know the big barn door is in the back, not on the sides. Those are cargo doors. That's why they call it a barn door in the back. Really cool. The unique dash of these are just the simplicity and also just really nostalgic looking. Yeah, right behind him. People come from all over to this show. Hi, Ruth. Black and silver. Nice looking bay here, 1970. So we got the Fast Times at Ridgemont High bus. How they found that, but this is the 
Original high roof ambulance. Yeah. Here you got the body on display. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is just a bay window camper. Pretty smart, I guess. Good things about being out here is you're you can get off the pier easily. That's nice. Surf rack, which looks appropriate, I think, on there. On a double cab. It's got to be 67. <laughs> Early 67. This is another barn door here. So you see the, I guess this one here is a 50, it has a radio, which is pretty unique. So we got this one here, camper. Oh, it's SO, sub hatch. Maybe we'll get them opened up later, I don't know. Just wanna film them a little bit now, cause they get so crazy here a little bit later. I see a lot of people here, so. It's good with the awning up. Is that a camping box? Could be. Press bumper camping box. Very early Westphalia built camper. Yeah, you got your transportation number one, transportation number two. It almost looks like the new monkeys, huh? It looks so clean and new. It's actually a 69. Really nice. Let's take a look at the van again. We got another bay window camper. Early bay because it has round hub caps, the flatter ones, like on the other one or later. Sometimes they're 71. I think that's a 71. And then the bigger taillights are on the other ones that are even 72 and up. Had bigger taillights on it. It's pretty nice. Let's look inside. Yeah, really nice looking. So this is an SO42, the same thing as what I have, but mine's a tin top Westy. This is a pop top. So you see here, this has the pop top. It came both ways and then... All right, another SO42. Same thing, it's really nice shape. And this one has the, again, this is the Deluxe SO42 with the awning. Another SO42. Hopefully we didn't skip over too many because I'm going to come back and uh, and film the ones that I didn't, if I can remember them. Just filming the ones that had no music around them right now. So. No bumpers yet. Another SO42. One of the most popular 
models in the camper. South Dakota, Wyoming. This one didn't come with an awning because you can see there's no brackets on there. Or it was optional to get the awning and the pop top was optional too. So. Look at this He's got a TV and everything in here. He's got a speakers, TV. That's different. And then brush painted. Yeah. Definitely different look. It's a different double door camper. Look at this here for again. This is a double door camper, you guys that don't know. Maybe it's I don't know if that one's a actual I don't know what this one is. If it was homemade or what. It kind of looks like it was. They have so many different models of campers. They had the uh, Caravel, or the, some of them were made out of panels, some were made out of combi buses. And we got, it's not a car, it's a bus. I think he just came from Utah in this thing. Utah, they had some sort of a thing at Moab. You go and off-road all over the place and VW buses, so that's kind of a fun event, too. It's a big, long story. I'm going to make it real short. I bought it from a family member, my brother, and uh, it was supposed to be in really, really good shape. Cape Mida. It's a California bus that moved there. Inside the Really just filming mostly this side of everything because the other side you can't really get to. So. Restricted area, authorized personnel only. Earlier Bay, 68, 69, 70. I don't know which one. I... Not that versed on bay windows. These are late, and you can always tell by the tail light. And the bumpers, it's like a 76 through 9, I think, is when they change over to that. I don't know. If I get it wrong, it's I think, see, these are late bay, but see the different bumpers? So that's a 72 to 6, somewhere, I don't know. Something like that. Really beautiful out. Let's take a look at the atmosphere around here. A lot of surfers we got down here. Right on the ocean. We got good waves today too, so there's gonna be some fun going on later. Maybe I'll get some surfing in here. Okay, so we got a lot of guys out today. Yeah. When it's good, everybody's out. We got San Diego crew here. And we got these little Camping out. Yeah, we have a. Huh. Interesting. Bring your 
towel and just sleep, I guess. Nice and cool out right now. Still got to have sunscreen on. Yeah. That's a different combination. Yes, this one looks like Brazilian. Yeah, see, Brazilian. These tail lights is a dead giveaway. Guys change them over, but it's cool that I like Brazilians too. They're neat. And they add the skylight windows to them. So I don't think they came that way at all. No. Maybe they did make one, but I don't think so. Panel bus. Take a look at the double cab again. We got uh, this fella here. Now that's interesting. I think I've seen this one before. Looks like something from Fantasy Island or something like that. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Make a comment as you go and make sure you like the video. Thanks for watching. Don't don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help get some action on these. VW buses everywhere. Wow, this is a rare color interior, I think. Yeah. Turkish and then this. They had, I think, a different color format, but nobody ever has them. It's really rare to see them. Got a nice another SO42 pop top. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I For a while. <laughs> there we go. Red. Another barn door. These are the utility model. And you notice the dash on the barn door. It just has a handle. I'm not sure what year they started putting the handle in. Or maybe it was optional. I don't, I'm not sure. You can see that simple dash. That's on the regular, this is a combi bus, so basic model. I don't even know if they had a standard. They either had a deluxe or a combi. A barn door, I, I don't know. Not a, a barn door expert. Sounds good. You don't get to see you, buddy. It's good to see you. You see Kaufman, tell him I'm looking for you. Hey, really? Thanks, Steve. This is the one with the radio. Hey, we both out here Look at these uh, went, bent wings. Those are different, right? They're all earlies. These are old. Oh, this one's really old. It doesn't have bumpers. I think the put bumpers in the later ones in the rear.
I don't know, but that's what I thought. The early ones had no bumpers, the later ones didn't. And it says 52, yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Early barn door. Tiki bar going on. A local fisherman. And we've got our buses out here. Huntington Beach local here. Here's my bus. Brought out today. Never been really seen out. So Twenty-three window. Yeah, tomorrow's Mother's Day. I was like, it's great, kids. I'm like, uh, every day's Mother's Day. It's all good. You don't have yeah. to see me tomorrow. Just send me the text. Yep. Yeah. 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 Facetime me, something like that. It's all good. Uh, send me a card in the mail. Yeah, I know. I don't know what we do. I got a bunch of things for her to set up and stuff, but I think we're just gonna go down to Duke's. That like, they open at nine. They open an hour early. Perfect for a tour at Duke's. Oh, uh huh. So. Oh, nice, cool swing. Patina ride there. He's going all, all the way out to the end of the pier. These are kind of neat. I like this little awning thing. You, they put a pin between the two and then give you a little bit of shade. Might make one of those. Throw some magnets in the corners. That's why Scott's taking us over here right now. Yeah, at the end of the pier here. Eclectic look here. That is a lot of stickers. A sticker bus. Good bus, man. Yeah, thank you. You guys have a good one. Hey, you too. Thanks. a little
happening in there? There's a lot happening in HP, guys. Okay. Who won't tell? Nobody. No. This is nice. Look at this. Who's this one? Is this Charlie's? I know this bus is just sweet. That is so clean. This is really weird. It looks like Fantasy Island, dude. Yeah, it's, it's like the Volkswagen version of Fantasy Island. Dude, I've never seen so many chrome bumpers. I fucking love them. Oh, wow. I love them. They're everywhere. They're chrome. I mean, well, maybe it's that stainless stuff. Yeah, dude, these are all like 80s, but.
There's Joy. That's, uh, is it two weeks? It's three, three weeks. Two and a half weeks. It's going to be, actually, I hear. That'd be kind of fun if you can camp there. Be one of the 30. That's a nice one. That's got to be it. That's it, huh? 